Hi. Today we shall be developing error correction model which is called ECM model and ECM model actually is a single equation equation model and here we have three variables such as LR what is LR lending rate then GDP what is GDP gross domestic product and finally M what is M money supply right and here LR is the dependent variables right that means that means we we want to check whether GDP and money supply can cause lending rate or not that we want to check okay and here we assume that our three variables are are non stationary right non stationary but when we convert all these three variables into first difference then they become stationary meaning that our three variables are integrated of same order and when the variables are integrated of same order then we can we can run the error correction model okay okay i can show you all the variables that i have you can see my variables right this is uh, observation right these are the variables observation from 1960 until 2010 so it is the GDP lending rate money supply we have these three variables so far right okay so first uh, so when the variables are integrated of same order then we can use the Johansson test of co-integration right when the variables are integrated of sa same order then we can run the Johansson test of co-integration and that we shall be doing now and uh, after running Johansson test of co-integration we shall be running error correction model right okay first uh, first uh, I go to the Johansson test of co-integration okay I go to statistics right I make it clear right I go to statistics multivariate time series then I go to co-integrating rank of a VCM model okay here here I put the variables first I put LR then GDP then money supply here I put LR first intentionally because this one would be our error correction model and here LR is the dependent variable so that is why I put LR first and maximum lag I put 3 
because the lack selection criteria has advised me to take maximum lag 3 suppose without testing I assume that then trend specification I take constant then I take time settings here I take uh, observation right observation and our data is a yearly data I select yearly then I press ok and from reporting I select this one report maximum eigenvalue statistics that I select ok then I press ok so the result has come up you can see Johansen test of co-integration and here the outcome it is the outcome and what is the null hypothesis first I said suppose null hypothesis I said there is no co-integration among the three variables that we have an alternative hypothesis I said there is co-integration among the three variables ok ok so here maximum rank and this zero means there is no co-integration among variables right that is the null hypothesis and here is stress statistics and here is 5 percent critical value so what is the guideline the guideline is when the stress statistics is more than critical value we can reject the null hypothesis and can accept alternative hypothesis but if the test statistics is less than critical value then we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis so that is the guideline all the time okay so here the first is zero that means there is no co-integration and here 42.85 is more than 29.68 meaning that we can reject null hypothesis and can take alternative hypothesis meaning that I can reject this zero so meaning that when I re reject zero then immediately I come here so what is one one means there is one co-integrating equation right so it is my null hypothesis now ok here trace statistics 10.4 is less than critical value 15.41 so we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that there is one co-integrating equation or there is one error term there is one error term and it means that our three variables such as LR, GDP and M they are co-integrated meaning that they have long run association ship or these three variables move together in the long run okay. then also we have one more test 
that is max statistics the, the actually the 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 way way is same so here is zero meaning that there is no co-integration that is null hypothesis and max statistics 32.45 is more than critical value that is 20.97 so we can reject this zero and when we r reject zero then immediately we come here that means there is one co-integrating equation and, and that is the null hypothesis now so uh, what is the value of max statistics 9.87 which is smaller than critical value 14.07 so meaning that we cannot reject null hypothesis rather we accept null hypothesis meaning that there is one co-integrating equation so so actually both test the test statistics and max statistics actually telling the same thing that our three variables are co-integrated or they have long run association shape and when the variables are co-integrated then we can run the ECM model or error correction model and that we shall be doing now error correction model which is a single equation model not multiple equation model that is a single equation model and that we shall be developing now thank you very much for being with me for a while